I have this powerful stage play I would like to pitch to you, title, Fight on Sugar Hill. The play reveals how Oscar award winning Hattie McDaniel laid the groundwork for the Fair Housing Act. Yes, the first black Oscar winner fought segregated housing in Los Angeles and won. In the 1940s, Hattie McDaniel was the undisputed queen of the Sugar Hill West. The neighborhood had enjoyed a long and storied history before her arrival in 1941. When it was laid out in 1902, the hilly area was called West Adams Heights. In the unplanned early day chaos of Los Angeles, West Adams Heights was obviously something very special, Carrie McWilliams wrote in 1949, an island in an ocean of bungalows approachable, but withdrawn and reclusive. On South Harvard Boulevard, the most prominent families built craftsmen and Victorian mansions that put most LA structures of the time to shame. New homeowners, made up of the solidifying white upper class of Boomtown Los Angeles, were required to sign racially restrictive covenants as part of the deed to their properties, promising to never sell to African Americans. These covenants were prevalent throughout Los Angeles and all of America during the early 20th century, a reaction to increasing black mobility. Covenants were the reason that African American life in LA centered around Central Avenue during the first half of the 20th century, it was one of the few places in Los Angeles that black people were legally allowed to live. During the 1910s and 1920s, West Adams Heights saw its status as one of the premier addresses in Los Angeles decline. There was an exodus westward to new neighborhoods like Beverly Hills. With the coming of the Depression, many of the remaining West Adams Heights homeowners were forced to sell their homes. In need of cash, they were willing to sell to anyone who could pay, regardless of what their deeds said. Sensing an opportunity to establish a new foothold for the numerous middle class and affluent members of the black community, social leaders started to buy homes in West Adams Heights. West Adams Heights was rechristened Sugar Hill, a homage to the legendary neighborhood in Harlem. Some of the neighborhood's racist white residents were determined to kick their new neighbors out of their hard-earned homes. Although many of those residents left over from the old days were quickly won over by the numerous improvements the new homeowners made to their properties, protests had begun quickly. In 1945, eight white Sugar Hill residents sued to have their black neighbors evicted from their own homes, insisting that if restrictive covenants were not enforced, their property would lose value and racial clashes would inevitably ensue. By this time, around 57 black families lived in the neighborhood, and they were not going to give up on the community they had revitalized. Hattie McDaniel also took a lead role, holding meetings at her home and organizing around 30 black neighbors, including Louise Beavers and Ethel Waters, to fight the suit in court. Black attorney and NAACP activist Lauren Miller would represent the group. What came to be known as the Sugar Hill case came to trial in Los Angeles Superior Court on December 5, 1945. On that day, Hattie McDaniel led her co-defendants and 250 supporters into the courtroom. The suit gained national media attention when Superior Court Judge Thurmond Clark threw it out of court, saying, judges have been avoiding the real issue too long. Certainly there was no discrimination against the Negro race when it came to calling upon its members to die on the battlefields in defense of this country. This victory for black residents would help spawn a later Supreme Court decision overturning housing covenants all across America.